welcome to JLo's So Hot, So Tasty Kitchen. This is my playground. Thanks for joining me. If this is your first time, please be sure to subscribe, like, share, comment, and don't forget to hit that notification bell for the next video upload. For today's recipe, I'd like to share with you a dish that you can find on a fiesta table in the salad section, or you can even have it as an appetizer. This dish is called the kimchi noodle. Come on in, and let's see what type of ingredients we have to prepare that dish. The ingredients that we have for our kimchi noodle dish is two packages of 10.5 rice stick noodle, sesame oil, vinegar, kimchi base, cucumber, toasted sesame seeds, and sugar. And we also have a pot of water um, already preheating for boiling. Okay, while we have our water on the stove trying to come to a boil, let's go ahead and cut up our cucumber. Now this is half a cucumber already washed and clean. All we're gonna do is go ahead and cut this in half. Make it easier. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this into three And then we are going to cut it thinly. Now everybody has different ways of preparing this dish and so I want to thank my mom B for um, giving me her recipe to prepare this dish. So we're just going to go ahead and finally cut it like that. I want it to be thin. Now in this dish you um, there are different ways to prepare it. You can add cu uh, cucumbers, you can add daigo, which is pickled radish. But like I said, this is my mom's recipe and we are going to prepare it the way she prepares it. Okay, let's go ahead and set that aside and then up the rest of our cucumbers. Again, cut it like that, cut it in half, and cut it into three on each side. Or depending how fat your cucumber is, you want it as thin as possible. And then we are going to thinly cut it, slice it up. Okay, let's set aside the rest of these cucumbers. Go ahead and prepare our our sauce. So what we're going to do in a separate bowl, we are going to add a cup of kimchi base. use this same measuring cup and we are going to add half a cup of vinegar or you can use rice vinegar but we are going to use um, regular vinegar today there's half a cup And add this to the kimchi piece. Now we're going. 
going to add the four tablespoon of sugar. And then we are going to add five teaspoons of sesame oil. to taste. Two, three, four, and five. Now let's go ahead and give this a stir. The stir is really good. Combine all the ingredients. Okay, let's go ahead and give that a try and just see how it tastes. It's pretty good. Okay, so we're going to add the cucumbers, which was half of a cucumber, into this mixture. Go ahead and stir that up. All right, let's set that aside. Now that our water is boiling, let's go ahead and add our noodles. And we want to boil the noodles until it is soft. And the noodles, we wanted to have enough water just to cook the noodles. water that I have in this pot is about, about 12 cups. So we're going to go ahead and allow this to um, boil and soften, but constantly just stirring uh, the noodles so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot. So let's check this back in about minutes. Okay, it looks like our noodles is softened up. Water has um, absorbed. Let me go ahead and turn off our heat. Now, everybody, like I said, everybody has different ways of preparing dish. this. Now, gonna take your own scissors, your scissors, and you're just gonna cut up your noodles while it's in the pot. You don't want it too long, so just cut up your noodles. It still has a little water in here. You know, the noodles does soak up this wa soak up water, so. All right. I think that's a that seems pretty good, and uh, it's not too long. It's just good. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add now our mixture to this. And when we add the mixture. want to go ahead and turn our heat to low okay I'm gonna go ahead and give this a stir now my mom says that cooking this while on the pot and preparing it while it's still in the pot will allow the um, 
kimchi base to cook the noodle. And so she also said that she found this more um, better than the way of draining the noodles, setting it aside to cool, and then adding your mixture. She said that um, this would be great because it won't be too dry. And yeah, so we are cooking this on low heat and allow it to simmer for the next five to 10 minutes. It smells so good. Mm. Making my mouth watery. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and allow this to simmer for the next five to 10 minutes and we'll check back on it. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and turn off our stove. Give this a stir. Look at that. Okay, now we're going to add our last ingredient, which is toasted sesame seeds. Let's give this a stir. Now you can enjoy this when it's warm or you can set it aside and cool off and enjoy it chilled. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope that if you prepare this, you would share with me and tell me how it went. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share with your friends and family. Turn on your post notification bell for your next video upload. Thanks for hanging with me at JLo So Hot So Tasty Kitchen. We will see you soon. In the meantime and in between time, stay healthy, be encouraged, and be blessed. Much love, JLo.